Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I thought that I would go ahead and show you how I use multi-placers or multi-tools as sometimes they are called. And if you are curious what I'm talking about, this here is a normal pink diamond painting pen. And it comes with a single placer tip. Now, some companies will only give you the pen and it looks just like this. It has a hollow end to it, but some companies will also give you multi-placers. So let me show you what I mean. The first one that you could get that's common is the three-placer tool. And these already have wax in them, so excuse the um, little bit of black dirt that comes off the top of some of the diamonds. Some companies are a little cleaner than others. So there's the three placer. Then this one we have is the six placer. You know it's six because this is clear, whereas this is opaque. Okay, and this one kind of has a funny shape. But the reason that I point this out is because if I go into my bag of placers here, I've gotten a few diamond paintings now. Let me put these down here where you can see them. Three, six, and the last one that goes onto your diamond painting pen is the nine placer. Do you see how the six placer is clear and the nine placer is opaque? So that's how you can easily tell, I think, when you're doing an unboxing, if you didn't know that. Now, I don't know if this is true for all companies, but so far for me, if we go and look at the bag of multi-tips, it seems to be true so far. So I think I'm onto something. <laughs> now, let's get started on what you're here for. Now this is my trusty diamond painting pen. If you're interested to see where I got it, it's on Facebook. The group is called Rich Crafts and it's a man named Richard in the UK who made these. Uh, I think he's a little bit overwhelmed by uh, your, your presence. <laughs> um, so I apologize if you can't get a pen right now, but I'm sure that he will be back in the new year after his vacation. Today I'm going to start with the nine placer. So if you're interested to see, you just take it, I apologize if I'm out of focus, and you pop it into the end of your pen. Now you can, you're more than likely going to have these pink pens. So maybe we'll use that today. You just stick it in to the end like so. Okay, now I'm gonna fold this down so we can fill up the pen with wax. This pink wax came in my Ever Moment kit, since this is an Ever Moment that I'm working on. The first stab, I always go for the middle of the goop. Okay, it's just long enough. And wiggle it back and forth. Okay, oh, it didn't go in. Well, look at that. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to have to do it again. This time I'm just going to bring this over a little. And stab randomly there. Okay, you can see how it clings on like so. It makes a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. All right, so we've got it in. Move that over. And what I'm going to do is just wiggle back and forth like so. Sorry, you're shaking a little bit. And that's got the wax all the way in the pen. Okay. Now, what I like to do is just run my finger over and use, whoops, sorry, use my thumb. Oh, I need to get my nails done. I'm getting them done tomorrow. That's why they're hideous right now. Okay. And I just take off that little bit of goop that's excessive because the diamonds fit inside, as you may know. And so if there's too much wax, then it'll just get all over the top of your diamonds. Okay, I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna start with the nine first because my area is clear and this is the, the only area we're gonna do today. Okay, 
these are my trash diamonds, uh, the ones that aren't able to be used because they have holes or little nibs or something like that. So I've got that off to the side. I've got my large diamond painting tray. And I like this for using with multi-placers and larger areas because you can pick up a lot at once. So if you don't have a tray like this, I do highly, highly, highly recommend it. I got mine on Wish. But you can get them on Amazon or AliExpress, any of those places. Okay, let's get started. See, I kind of picked up at this at the wrong angle here. So they're they're hanging off the edge just a little, but see, it's gonna work just fine. So don't worry. We're not looking for a lot of pressure. The symbol we're going for is C. I've just touched the screen so that we're definitely in focus. Now I'm rocking back and forth side to side. It's not perfect, but that's why we have the other side of our tool. So I'm just going to lay them down like so. Make sure they fit in nice. And there we go. Now you might ch choose to maybe do your own patterns, whatever your brain is telling you to do. For me, I skip one line of diamonds and then I go to the next and the next and the next as far as I can go without being interrupted by another symbol. So we'll do it again. So here I've got them lined up. I lay it down gently. Okay. Check it and see. Now you're on the far side, so you can't see it, but it's gone a little off the line. A little bit off the reservation there, if you know what I mean. So it's okay if it's not perfect. They're going to line up uh, once you are filling in all the gaps. Okay. What I'm doing now is I'm just picking up all of the junky drills that I can see because they're going to mess me up if I pick them up. Okay, so here we go. Oh, there's another... Every moment does sometimes have drills that have holes in them. It happens with every company, but it does happen less with every moment. And we'll talk about that in my post review. So stay tuned for that. While I'm doing this, if you're new to the channel or if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and joining us. I like to make a lot of different videos as well. Um, and there will be more videos like this like my Irish videos in the future. So if you are interested in life in Ireland or even just to see the area that I live in, please consider sticking around and hitting that bell if you haven't already, because that'll tell you whenever I'm live or whenever I upload a new video. If you're like me and you binge watch YouTube videos while you diamond paint, I think that I do make quite a few videos that'll help you get through the day, you know, because I find that sometimes if you don't have something on in the background, the diamond painting can feel a little bit lonely. So I do a couple drill with me's, I do unboxings, and I like to do lives as well. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to scoot this out of the way, okay, scoot that out of the way. What I like to do is to come to the next line and lay this down, but can you see how there's a Z here at the end? I'm going to just take off one of the drills, okay? And then lay it down flat. There you go. Okay, pop that back down, grab another set. Let's check and see if I can lay this one down. Oh no, look, there's a Z there. So I'm going to knock off two drills. And then, there you go. Now, for me, this is much, much faster than placing each individual drill. I know some people like that. Two, four, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
And I do know that when it gets to the bigger numbers, sometimes it can get more confusing. Three, six, seven. Because some people aren't as visual or have harder times seeing numbers. I, I have hard time seeing numbers or counting. Now see how I messed that up. I bunged it up, but it's okay. Because you just take your little drill pen. Or... And take tweezers. Just line that right back up. Okay. Just like that. Very easy. And then there's only two here at the top, so I can just take the normal drill pen and pop them into place. Okay, so now we're just going to fill in and I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so that is the nine placer done. We're gonna move on and do the six placer. Now, the thing about the nine placer that I've noticed is that you need to have very good control. If you have hands that shake, then a nine placer may not work very well for you because you do need to have an incredible amount of control for it. It's a little slower than maybe normal diamond painting might be. You know, once you get into that groove of single placing, it can feel quite good. You can get a groove going, and some people are very fast at it, actually. But I'm just removing the wax, so if you've never done that before, I just use my tweezers and pull it out like so. Okay, this one's kind of gunky. I don't know the last time I used it. So I'm just reaching in there. Sorry, you're out of focus. Just reaching in there and yanking out what's in there. Okay. And then again, I'm going to go into the wax. It's sticking to me. Again, sorry about the, the bunky fingernails. I should have done them before this video, but I'm doing them tomorrow. <laughs> so pretty Christmas designs come tomorrow. Um, yes. So I'm just doing like I did before pushing the wax in and any excess wax is going to kind of bump up out of it. Can you tell that it's kind of outside of the lines there at the bottom? So just use my fingernail, focus, <laughs> and pull out that top bit. Okay. Now it's flatter on top. You might reach in there and go down further if you can. Okay, that's about the best I can do. I'm probably going to get wax on the first little bit of drills. But we go back. We're still on C. Okay, so we're, I'm going to do this part up here. So we just go into our drills and we take six. Now you could probably get more than six. On a six placer actually um, if you're lucky you could get seven but I think that the odd number works really well so I'm gonna start up at the top here and I'm gonna come away from here just so we can see where we are um, personally I'm much much more confident with a six placer oh we got seven oops but it's barely hanging on there and see how I have to go back and fix it. So maybe it won't work. I'll just stick with six. Okay. Go like that. And this is how I normally go along, you know. Oh, we got seven again. Okay. So that could throw off your geometry if you're not, or geometry, you're counting. 
you know if you if you prefer to have even numbers or if you're working um, for a specific on a specific count or a specific grid like some people really like to do patterns and things like that I if I'm doing it for a friend or family member sometimes I feel like I need to do it perfectly but you don't you really don't they are not going to notice <laughs> trust me all they're going to see is a beautiful gift that was handmade by you you're not going to criticize your drill placement, okay? So keep that in mind. It's very important. Six. Pop that in there, okay? And then how many I have here? Six as well. Five. I'll drag this one over. Do it like that. There you go. See, the, them popping up isn't really a big deal. Now I'm going to go back in and take that out later. Um, just because I've been very careful not to put holes into the painting. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch colors. We're going to move to the sixes here, and I'm going to use the three placer with you. Okay, something that I just noticed that I wanted to point out to you was that this three placer is the one that I took off of my normal diamond painting pen, this one by Ridgecraft. But I was going to show you it in the pink pen, and now when I place this in, it actually doesn't fit. It's very loose, okay? When I put it into my handmade pen, it pops in, but it still jiggles. So after some time of use, if you use one of these multi-placers quite often, you may need to whoops, go in and replace it. Can you see how tight this is? Okay, now that's not gonna go anywhere. That's not gonna jiggle at all. So I can go ahead and throw this out or recycle it. Okay, it's probably a better thing to do with it, to be honest. I'm gonna load this up, oops, with some wax. Now this one I'm very, very, very confident with, and you may be too, because this one, out of all the multi-placers, is probably the easiest to use. So again, whoop, just take out the wax off the top. Oh, I forgot to change my drills. Pause for a second. That would be just my luck, hey? <laughs> to put down the wrong color on the symbol and have to pull it all the way back up. Now what I'm going to do, I eye this pretty well and I go, okay, which ones can I do that'll give me the most area of threes? You don't have to be this precise. I just like it because it's kind of a game with myself. So I'm going to start from, whoops, from that little pink dot and then I'm going to work my way over like so. Okay, then I'm going to move out from the other side of it like this. And then, can you see how like the next dot would be just a single, and over here it's just a single? So I'm gonna move down. And I'm gonna go just off the next little bit here. Fill them in. See how much faster and more confident I say that as I mess up. Did you see how that just slid down and then the glue came off? That happens sometimes. Sometimes I just get into a single placing groove and I might do that checkerboard pattern or, you know, I might play those games with myself.
I don't think that there's any kind of hierarchy or I'm better than you or, you know, that kind of thing. It's just depending on what tool you want to use, you, you go for it. But I just wanted to make this video because a lot of my uh, sus subscribers and viewers, they ask me to to do this because I do use them quite often and I like them. I think they're very helpful if you can practice with them and master them. They make it go much faster and that might not be your priority. Your priority might be to extend the length of how long you're diamond painting and that, that's good too. But if you're making a lot of gifts and stuff and you feel like you aren't going fast enough or anything like that, then maybe give it a go and try it out. And I hope this video finds you well and that it was beneficial to you in some way. And if you did enjoy it or find it, found it useful, please give consider giving me a thumbs up. You don't have to. I don't mind uh, if you don't either. And if there is any other type of video that you would like me to touch on, please leave that in the comments below. I'd love to to help anybody out or if, the, if you're curious about something, you know, I wouldn't mind sharing with you. So thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Sorry about the cars, guys, but I just thought you might want to see what a sunny afternoon looks like where I am. It's gorgeous today. Just stunning. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my walk to work. <laughs>